construction plan quote, it's only a matter of time until repairs are needed. And once your car breaks down, it's too late. Call 1-800-915-9597 or go to carshield.com. Get covered today. Hi, I'm MC Shaky. <laughs> Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Okay, so listen, if y'all come up a mess or shade or anything, it's none of that. It is none of that right now. I am in Vegas right now. I am wanting to get into, I'm in Vegas for the new year, having fun. On my fun type key, key is not for that right now. It's not giving mess. No shade, no foolish. If you're looking for mess, shade, penniness, or anything, please press the X button in your top right corner. Mess and stuff will be done at a later date or on Beagle where I can get paid to it. Okay? For it. So understand that. That's what's going on here. No mess. I actually wanted to do of this video is I'm actually about to unbox my Apple card. The reason I'm unboxing it online is because I want to put the video on YouTube. And so I'm going to definitely um, do that. Um, as y'all know, at the beginning of the year, we're starting a very, very... So last year in December, I started a credit journey that took me on a place to get my credit score from 530-something to 792. I'm like eight points away from 800. Um, when I do reach 800, I will be getting something else for, as far as credit products. Um, right now, I'm in Vegas. I paid $73 for my ticket, and it was a it was a trip. It was a ticket on Delta First Class. The reason I paid $73 is because I signed up for a credit product that allowed me points to make one purchase. I made one purchase on a Delta Sky Mile card, and it gave me 50,000 Sky Miles. Why did it give that to me? Because of credit. And for people to think credit is not king, credit is much stronger than cash. Credit, they want to give you stuff. I've showed y'all many times, American Express constantly sending me stuff. They want me to sign, but that's not the credit product I want from them. The credit product I want from them is the black card. Uh, black, the black card is actually invitation only uh, to get that. Uh, but I do, uh, because of who I know, I know some people that have them and I could get an invite, but I have to have the credit criteria and I'm not there yet. But I should be there, hopefully by... Let's say March, and that's where we're going to be. The credit is much stronger than that. And so I wanted to unbox this because I think this is my new everyday card. I want to unbox this. Uh, the Apple card, it's, a, it's not an easy, easy, easy card to get, but it isn't as difficult as, say, for instance, America's First. Now, I do have America's First card. I've shown you that before. I want to get in their club, and ever since I've been there, they have been sending me stuff because they want me in their club. Important stuff to pay your note on time, pay your, month, pay your bills on time, try to pay it out if possible. Keep your balances and utilization under... Under 30, under 20, between 10 and 20 is the, the optimum place. I've talked about that, and we're going to be getting into those credit mechanics. Um, so these are not City Trends glasses. These are real Gucci glasses. I'm in Vegas where they are. This is not City Trends. I'm so sorry for y'all. I know y'all wanted it to be fake, and I know y'all wanted it to be City Trends, but it's not. I apologize. It's not. I'm so sorry to disappoint you today. But So we're going to unbox this. So the Apple card. Hold on. So I got it in the mail yesterday. Um, but Apple, as y'all know, the Apple card, so the reason, this, the, the uniqueness about the card is because it's supposed to be a titanium card, which is a heavy, thick card. It's not like um, a plastic card. And um, the, the uniqueness about the Apple credit product is that this, you get cash back every single day. Every day. Every day they send you cash. Every single day, depending on what you use on the card. 1% for all purchases, 2% on gas, groceries, and stuff like that, and 3% on any Apple products or at the Apple Store or iTunes or stuff like that, you get 3% cash back. And they put it in your Apple Cash every single day. Um, the introductory rate is 0% uh, that goes up into not that much. So it came, I folded it up because I flew here. I just stored it in a thing. It came, it came and I was like, ah, oh, Apple card. So this is what it is. And I'm, this is me unboxing it. Um, they sent it to you, FedEx, it to you. Um, it's by Goldman Sachs. They check only one bureau, and that's TransUnion, to approve you for an Apple card. And usually the limits are pretty generous. Like, they give you some good limits on this. It's not that. It's not. Ain't no hold. They want you to use this card. So my limit was uh, 30000 which means. No, I mean I can go spend 30000 now. Because I can't pay it back. Back. <laughs> but it means that I could use it for three, three, like 3000 which is a good 10%. And so this is the card. And it comes into. That's it. That's all I get. Yeah, I was. I'm, I'm expecting something. It comes in a little box. 
Okay. Two little box. It's a, like, like, it, but it's supposed to be a titanium car, and it's supposed to be like really, really hard. So this is what I'm doing. I'm about to let y'all see the box over here. Y'all double tap shit alive. And so um, y'all got to get into it. So I'm going to just peel this. Okay. It's kind of hard to peel off. Okay. <laughs> they don't want you opening your car, girl. Okay. And you pull it off. And it, oh, it looks like an iPhone. Like how you know how the, you know how the little boxes come with the iPhone? That's exactly how it looks. And it says it's like the Apple logo when it comes out. Okay. What do y'all see? It's like the Apple logo. Okay. So okay. It, look, how about this? And it has a little. It's like the Apple. Like you know how like if you buy some an iPhone or something, got a little thing in it. It's just like that. It's just like that. Is it? It is a credit card. It's not a debit card. And there you go. There you have it. My Apple car and my name on it. Yeah. And so there she goes. So it's a, like I said, it's by Goldman Sachs. It is a it seems to be a good credit product. I have used it once you get approved for it, you get to use it on your iPhone already. Um like that second. Um and so I definitely, definitely used it. But um it's cute. It's very cute. So um it is very heavy. I can feel the heaviness on this like oh my god. Oh my God, it's very heavy. It's, so it's on the MasterCard network. Oh my God, it's so. Do y'all hear that? Let me turn this off. So y'all, I don't, I don't know how to it. I don't want to get up because I ain't got number draws on. Get out so um because the Goldman Sachs thing on I don't even know the number, it doesn't even have a number on it. <laughs> it's got the Goldman Sachs logo on it, the Goldman Sachs logo, Massacre. Yeah, it's so fucking heavy. it's like really heavy. It's it's like really a iron type so the reason why I wanted to do the unboxing is because it was a titanium card. I've never all my cards are plastic. This is the first titanium card here. Um ooh, I want to just pull her out. Oh my god. You think it's ugly? It's simple. It's cute. It fe it's so heavy. Can you use it everywhere? Yep. You can use it everywhere. It's, 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 it works on the MasterCard thing. You can use it everywhere. It's like a, it's a credit card. You got the number in your Apple wallet. Yeah, If you so you apply for it in your Apple wallet. But listen. So listen, if your credit is not right, don't apply for the card because you're wasting the inquiry for nothing. Um, you're wasting anger for nothing. You have to um, apply for it when your credit is right. We're gonna, start, like I said, we're gonna start doing credit stuff in January. I just want to do an unboxing video with y'all. It is. I've never had a titanium. It's, it's it like it, It's like a. It's like you could really like bop somebody with this. It doesn't really bend. It has like a little bendiness to it. It's very sleek and shiny. Oh my god! Hey, Sana, you know sister. Oh my god! It's very much so. Okay. How do you shop online? I'm assuming you just use your, your Apple Pay because mm -hmm, that's a good question. How do you shop online? Well, I guess you use Apple Pay. So let me look at the um. So where's the man? I don't know. So this is the Apple Car, and it's like a hard car. I can't wait to use it. I can't wait to stick this. Up. This says something though, in a sense. The numbers in your Apple Wallet, y'all. Okay, good. I think, I guess that's why I saw it, man. I know I saw them already. I saw it was like five something, something, something. So, um, this, let me take this. Y'all, because this, this, this obviously is hurting y'all feelings some type of way. It's not that serious. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're talking about something that could change your life potentially. Get your credit together. So, yeah, what does your credit have to be? I, so I recommend for the Apple Card to get, to be 670 FICO on TransUnion. Not Wallet Hub on TransUnion, not Credit Karma on TransUnion, 670, 670 FICO on TransUnion. I'm not sure what the minimum was. I know I'm supposed, I, I surpassed the minimum when I probably, they gave me a generous limit of $30,000, which means that you could, I can probably spend safely without 
damaging my credit about three thousand on the car and carry that balance. That's about it. I wouldn't do that any of that. The the good part about this car that I like is the introduction rate is very very low. Also with this car. Um, What was the thing with the glasses, y'all, that y'all, that hurt y'all feeling so much? The Amex Platinum car. Only thing I don't like about Amex is no shade. No shade, because I have one. I carry an Amex. I have an Amex. I have an Amex. I, I have an Amex. It says something, too. An American Express says something. But the annual fee on the Apple car is zero for the first year for certain. And I believe after that, like, So this is this is cute. So this is I bop somebody with the car. So it's a lot. It's a lot. And so I sent him off to the skate park. I'm sitting at home thinking I just pulled out an Apple car with a thirty thousand dollar limit and you were about some less. That makes you feel better. So credit is key. I told y'all that I showed y'all that I showed y'all many times. Not saying, but this is a definite credit product that I think is pretty decent. Apple did a good job making the card. Apple did a good job as far as like um, putting it together. It, it's, it's definitely tied to your Apple phone, your iPhone. $500 and your fee. No, not on an Apple card. Uh uh. It's no answer. Let's look it up. It's the first year, it's nothing. It's not five hundred dollars. Making choices that have a lot of talking with your parents right now. I can feel all the moms or even the dads out there listening to you, you know, being so real about you know you and then nodding all along and then you know, There's no and you feel on this apple call. So many lives. I just appreciate you putting it all out there. Kristen Howerton. Oh, the Amex is five hundred dollars fee. The Amex I got because it's through the credit union is a ninety nine dollar annual fee and then they waive it for uh if you if you meet the threshold of purchases, Thank you. so that's what it is. This car doesn't have a fee. There's no annual fee. The black car that I'm uh, trying so desperately just to hold in my hand is also a titanium. It's a titanium. It's this is titanium. This is like real like whatever. So it's um it has an annual fee of five thousand dollars, but it has no preset spending limit, and you have to charge a minimum of two hundred fifty thousand dollars on the car. Now, do I want to use that card? No, I ain't paying no five thousand dollars to use your card. But um, what I want to do is the issues. So what I want to do is I just want to hold one in my hand. I've held one in my hand before. I told y'all that story, but it wasn't mine. So I definitely want to hold one in my hand. That's mine. This is my card sent to me with my name on it. And so that's different. So that was it. So yeah, I am manifesting. So I just wanted to do this video, unbox it, let y'all see what it looked like. Um, keep in mind, we're going to be doing the credit stuff starting the beginning of the year. I promise, 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 promise. We're going to definitely do that starting the beginning of the year. Let's go shopping, boo. No, no. I'm not damaging my credit. I'm try I have a goal. This is only, you have a change. I wouldn't even know what to buy. Yeah, you have to charge. Like to be, um, to, to maintain membership, you have to use that card for $250,000 a year. How long did it take you to fix the car? It took about a year. Uh, from December, last December to this December. And I'm still really not exactly where I want to be because I'm like, my goal I still haven't met. Check you on a business. So that's fee penny, fee is pennies. Yes, never get your high credit number with good credit. Yep. I own a business, but my business revenue ain't like that. $250,000. I don't think I do two fifty. dollars I don't do $250,000 to sales a year. This year, I might, I'm at, I'm right at $100,000 in revenue. Right at that. And that's really thanks to Black Friday. No, I might be a little over there. But that's really thanks to Black Friday and Cyber Monday, which was good for me. Which I only made, I, which, like, we made, like, we had $39,000 worth of sales through Black Friday. Um, not a hundred, not a million, like some people be lying and telling y'all. But we did a good $39,000 worth of sales. Um, but with the advertising costs, because we did Facebook ads and stuff like that, and with the advertising costs and the cost of materials, the cost of shipping, the cost of production, and all those costs, all that added up, we probably just profited about like 12 which is still not bad which is still not bad still not bad so you know 
Um, I sell SipCosmetics.net is a company where we sell uh, skincare products. It's how I keep my face nice and clean and clear. As y'all can see, I'm 38, which is two years from 40. And child, I look 21. And I won't, and don't argue with me, bitch. Argue with your mom. No shade. No shade. Don't argue with me, bitch. Argue with your mom. <laughs> I'm 38, and I look every bit of 21. Now who won't? Now who? Now who gonna buy me? Is all I want to ask you. Who's going to buy me? And who's going to say I don't? Mom. All right. So in January we will be starting our credit. The I did my credit journey. Just so that I could show y'all it could be done. At first, I want to do it, y'all do it with me, but then I understand we're visceral people, so I definitely want to show you it could be done. You give me 27. I'm giving me 27. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll give 21. Okay, so um, so now is not my time. Like, I, my thing is the skincare is for both men and women. Yes, I have skin, my skincare product, it's mostly for women. However, I do have products for men, but men can use the products too. Are you doing credit? Yes, I will also be doing credit. Too old to be so messy? You ain't never lying. I'm too old to be so messy, and so are you. <laughs> do your products work for dark circles? Look at my skin. I had dark circles. I had rings around my eyes that were horrible. Um, they're getting back in shape. Skin is smooth, clear, no lines, all this other stuff like that. Bump-free, acne-free. Yeah. You're really good, Angie. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm on two platforms right now. <laughs> so, have y'all seen me talking to this one and talking to that one? It's the right. Did you get your teeth done? Beautiful teeth as well. Yes, I did get my teeth done. Yes. Okay, thank you for answering my question. Yes, Lord. I already need help with my credit. How much for credit? How much for me to do your credit? It's going to be about $500, but I'm going to do something like $100 down and like $30, $25 a month, something to that nature. $150 down or something like that and $150 a month or something to that because it takes time. It is not a quick fix. This, a year ago today, I had nothing. I had a secure car with, uh, uh, I had a, a credit one car and a secure car with Citibank with like $300 limit. That's what I had last year. But with work perseverance, you can do anything. Credit is much stronger than cash. Credit is much stronger than credit. I want you to fix my credit. Okay, you can sign up and I will fix your credit. But I want, so my goal, I want to make it, this is the goal, understand, understand. I don't want to fix your credit. I want you to fix your credit. So you can, number one, take onus. Number one, you could learn it. And number three, you could teach it to our kids. Because that's, let me say something. The, they don't teach credit in school. The reason they don't teach credit in finance in school is because they don't want us to know about it. But the certain people, certain people, certain people teach their children and set their children up for credit success, which then sets them up for life success. And so my goal, so I'm going to make it so cheap for you to go through the course with me and go through the process with me and kind of just pay me like a little coaching fee. That's going to be so cheap. It's so easy, but I, if you want me to just do it for you for yourself, I don't want you to not have good credit, but I want you to learn credit. So I'm going to make it costly for you. I'm going to cost it. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to cost, I'm going to price it higher so that you'll be like, well, damn, I could really buy a shaky book, which will be $24. And it's going to have all the letters and all the steps and I could do it myself. Or I could join shaky class, which is like $5 a month. And I could just do it myself and have, ask him questions and learn it and have that knowledge to pass on to my kids. And, and 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 I could so for I could do this myself for fifty dollars, a hundred dollars, or I could pay shaky five hundred dollars. So I want you to do that part. That's the part I want you to do. I want you to learn it. I want you to be. I want you to to get involved and engulfed in it and know it and take onus of it. So not only can you do it, learn it, but you also can put our kids. And so that's the perm in my mind. Like my whole thing is I want to help people, but I definitely want you to get that something from it. If I do it, not, but I was like, I'm not going to do it for you. I want you to do it yourself. But then I realized some people don't have the time. I get it. Some people just say, look, I just, I, look, I make, I make money. I'm going to just write my, I, girl, boy, I, let write the check and go. And I understand that some people, but I want to weed out those people. The people that do have time and, and want to, I want you to get that because it's an invaluable thing. You heard me? So that's what I want. 
We have a subscription service for credit repair. The credit, it's not going to be, a, it's going to be a one. Let's so listen. Check this out. This is how I'm going to do credit repair. And if you don't want me to do your credit repair, that's cool. I don't, I'm not tripping, no shade. I would love to just, I don't want to do it anyway. I really want you to come through the course and learn this shit so that next year, instead of me doing a video about getting a $30,000 Apple card, titanium, shitting on the girls, you can be shitting on me. Like, girl, I got this Amex uh, titanium black card. And, and drop it and do that. That's what I want next year. I want you to do that to me next year. And then I want you to say, look, and I got, and I put my daughter on my account as an authorized user. So now her credit gets, her credit is growing and she gonna start off with good credit. I didn't put the library in her name. I put the, I put it on my good credit card to where we're making, we're making that. So that's what I want. That's what I want next year. That's my new year's resolution for Simnation. I want to mention to grow in the mentality of getting their finances and credit on a very, 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 very high level, higher car. That's what I want. So, I mean, if you want to come on and you want to just want me to do it, I have no problem with that. I will take your money and do it. Should you answer the question I asked about trailer? I see. I just told you. Uh, what about the question? Well, I'm so sorry. I didn't see the question, Mom. It's going to take a few years. I owe a lot of student loans. Maybe not. I I was in a bad I was in a bad very bad credit situation too. I wasn't paying no bills, girl. I was like, you just coming home from prison. Y'all go give me all this, girl. No, man, I ain't paying that. I ain't doing that. I guess I. <laughs> and so I was in a very bad credit. Late pays, collections, medical bills, all that. I had that. I had everything. I had everything you could name except for bankruptcy. It was all my credit. So. I want you to do my credit card check. Okay. But also, this is, so I want to hear the cost point of it. Don't ever go to a credit pair agency that is a subscription-based credit pair agency. Somebody's going to string you along until it gets done. You want a definite amount of what is this going to cost. Oh, shucks. Phone dropped my bag off. You never want to go to a credit pair agency that is talking about, uh, Oh, we just go charge you four dollars a month till we get it done. Cause let me see why. What benefit does it have for them to finish with you? None. It might take me three months to do it. That means I'm gonna make a hundred and twenty dollars in three months. But if I charge you four dollars a month, but I'm gonna string it along so that three months could take six months. And so now that I may on the same thing that took me three months. I'd have made double that. I'd have made two hundred and forty dollars. So the, no shade to some that do that business model, but your Lexington laws and the stuff of the world, yeah, they work. Don't get it twisted. They do a decent job of how they clean credit. However, they don't have a finite amount. You're joining their thing, and you're not gonna you're gonna pay forever. Ain't no way I'm paying you nine dollars a month forever. You're not working fast. You don't want to work fast. It's not beneficial to your business model to work fast. So what you want to do is look, if you're outside of me, <laughs> look for a credit repair agency. If you're working with a credit repair agency, first of all, do it yourself. It's easy. Not that it's time consuming. It takes time. But really, not really. You're really spending like two, three hours a month on this. That's it. Two, three hours a month. I did Alexis a lot, a hundred dollars a month. It was eighteen months. Eighteen months. So that's eighteen hundred dollars you pay. For and they probably could have got it done in six. Seven, maybe. Eighteen months sounds like it could have they try to do you three times of what you really could deserve. Eighteen months, eighteen divided by three is what? Six? Yeah, it probably was a six month job. So that's not, it's not advantageous, but re recommended. They don't want you out their system. They want you in their system for as long as they could be, so they're going to string you along as long as they can. Um, and I'm going to teach you that in the course and in the book. So the, the course is going to be like $4.99 a month. And we're going to go live on a platform to let you pay $4.99 a month, like a, a Patreon or YouTube or something. And uh, you have the credit courses, and we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about credit. We're going to try to put up videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday, only on that. Uh, people can come in and ask questions, take notes. We'll talk about it step by step.
So listen, join the, join the class. The class is the course is where you get the one-on-one -on -one consultations to ask questions. In the course, I will not do a thing for you, but I will tell you what to do for yourself. Understand that. The course is not me doing anything for you. Not doing that for you. It's me telling you what to do. If you, so you can get the book and read the book and do it yourself. $24. $24.95. It's going to be available on Amazon, and you can get the book. Do it yourself. No, that's it. That's the only thing you pay. Um, the course will be $5 a month or $6 a year, which is nothing, which means you get me to ask questions, talk to, guide you, whatever, whatever, but you're still doing it yourself. If I do your credits, it'll cost you $500. Now, why a finite amount? This is why. Let me show you why. Okay. If I'm a Lexington Law and I charge you $50 a month, right, I want you to be in my system at least three years because I'm going to get $50 a month for three years. But if I have a finite amount, a definite amount, this is the maximum I can pay. Okay? If I shake a charge of $500, boom, shake a charge of $500. Okay, cool. Um, so the $500 is the most I'm going to pay no matter how long it takes. So watch this. If it take me, let's say, all right, you pay $500. So it take me a year to do your credit. I've only made $60 a month. If it take me two years, that means I've only made $30 a month. I can't make more than what I, I've charged you to do it. Y'all get what I'm saying? So it's not like I can't string you. I want you out fast because guess what? If I get you out one month, if I get you in and out in one month, that means I made $500 on that month. That's what I want. That's money. Not $20 a month, not $30 a month. The longer it takes, don't forget to check your DMs. I got one email, not the other. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I'm about to get out. I, I should do that. I'm going to get out there. So it's, it's, it makes more It doesn't, like, if I, if I take two months, that means I make 250 a month. The more and the longer it takes, the less I'm making. You feel what I'm saying? That's, the, that's what you're looking for. Somebody with a definite amount. So when I tell you what you're paying a month is what I'm telling you is that this is your total price. So what I might do is this. Um, I might do something like this. $600 a month, $100 a month. $50 for 10 months, and that's all you can pay, well, and it's going to take about a year. So, you know, after you pay that, your amount, you're good. You're done. You don't have to pay no more, no matter how long it takes. And so that gives me an advantage. That gives me an incentive to do it faster, uh, as fast as possible, or to look for the most best way, because I don't want you in my, I don't want you sitting out in my system. I don't want you in my system. I don't want you in my system. I don't want you here. I don't want you in my computer. It's costing me money there. You can remove, yes, you can. Student loans can be removed if they have something wrong on the student loans. Um, yeah. Student loans are a little, it's, it's, it's ways for anything. Student loans can be removed. That's not, that's not, that's not correct. Uh, Nevy for the people. There, it's a different dispute for student loans, but yes, they can be removed. That is true. That don't, listen, the credit bureaus, the student loan people work with the government but not the credit reporting agencies. Credit bureaus are not, are not, are not <laughs> part of the government. You still might have to pay them, but you, they, they can be removed from your credit report. Student loans, are, that don't mean it can't be removed from your credit report, though. Why? So listen, student loans are federal funds, though. They're, just because they're like that. Listen, listen, listen. Listen to me and what I'm saying. The credit bureaus are not government agencies. They are not connected to the government. They are not. They are not connected to the government in no way, shape, or form. They don't have access to government stuff. They don't have no inside information that you don't have. They have to follow laws and rules and regulations, like whatever. The credit bureaus. So the people that's reporting the student loans are not government people. So even though the student loans are government people, the people that's reporting it are not. So, like she says right there, she says, my student loans were removed, I still owe though. But student loans can be removed from your credit report because your credit report is not connected to the government at all. The credit bureaus, Experian, Equifax, are not connected to the government. Get that out your mind. If I fake my debt, can it be removed? That's from the about you owe. That's not from the it reporting on your credit bureau. If Biden says he's going to give 10000 for student loans, we're talking about it being reported on your credit bureau. Okay? What's going on? What's going on? But anything can be removed from your credit bureau because none of those people are government agency. It's not. They're not. That don't mean you don't owe. That don't mean they're not going to come get... Baby, where our money? That don't mean they're going to stop taking your taxes. That just means you're going to stop reporting negatively against your credit bureau so it doesn't hurt your credit. Okay? 
Judgments can't be ruled, but you got to try to buy a house. You got to pay to get a certain financing. Okay. Right. Me to the move them, but I still have the debt. Yeah. Y'all get what I'm saying? A lot of times stuff you remove, you still owe the debt. But it's not hurting your credit anymore. That's what we're talking about. Not a problem, Top Flight. Thank you so much. Y'all get it? So yes, this video will be going on to YouTube, uh, and that's what we're gonna do for that. So when so we'll talk about that. What uh, so yeah, I love y'all. <laughs> I love it. So to get it removed, it can allow one to purchase a car. Yep, you can purchase anything you want. I had late payments on a car. I had late, so many late payments on my car. It wasn't even funny. I got them removed, and now I went and go got a car zero down. Okay. What's the book going to be called? It's going to be called Credit T by Rodney M.C. Shiki Russo. It's not out yet. It's going to be coming out hopefully by the middle of next month. It's already written. I just got to put it I gotta put it on an Amazon thing. Um, and I'm on vacation right now. So when I come back from vacation, I'm going to work on that. As soon as I'm missing out my credit, that's the only thing. How you remove dispute. That's what I have late payments. I need help. What you need help with? Anything older than seven years can be removed. Anything younger than seven years can be removed as well. What's the highest score you've ever been? Right now, 792. I've never been to 800 Club. I want to get there. I want. If I get to, the, I gotta get 803 to get my black card. To get a black card. Yeah, the book will be called Credit C. I had late payment roof. Yeah, late payments are bitches. I hate them. Me too. It wasn't for that. I'd be straight. Never had a late card payment. Okay, so when your credit course will be available, it's gonna be available um, mid to early January. We'll start doing that mid to early January. I can't wait for the book. The book will be coming out soon. Any other questions? Lord, I need a 700. 700 not that hard. 800. Oh my God. What school did you start with? 532. Y'all can exhale late payments. Please let us know when it comes out. I will definitely put be posting it. I've been waiting on you. I don't know who works you or the attainer, but I'll help you put them once in a while. Yeah. Um, so, I did shake it. You're a blessing. You always, during the pandemic, can you still hold your late payments? With the pandemic? Hmm. Like, you mean a deferment? Is that what you're talking about? I would dispute that anyway. What about eviction? Yep, you could do that. How long did yours take? A year. It took me a year to get to from 532 to 792. It took me an entire year. An entire year of fussing, fighting, and everything. How can I get my credit score to go? It's been the same for about two months. Maybe you need to add credit. I don't know. That might be a thing. How long did it take you to give it to you or not? One year. December to December. I, last year, December, I started. My daughter wrecked my car. She wrecked my car, and which put me into a lease. I was getting to a lease, and then it went to a whole other thing. And then I was like, um, check out maybe late, but I love the nails. Thank you. My transduce score isn't moving, but my equifax is what can I do? Um, find out maybe credit accounts or credit products that report to TransUnion and add them to your credit. Don't pay off collections. Never pay off collections unless the credit is again to group. That is 100% true. So, no. hey, Zay, do not pay off collections agencies. Do not pay off collectors. Do not pay them anything unless they agree to delete the account from your credit report. If they don't agree to that, then don't pay them a dime. You're going to get it deleted anyway. What help your credit score the most? Um, three months in a house. My house for three months boosted that bitch nice. Um, and, the, and the lease, the car lease that I was in, it boosted it a lot too. Uh, the credit card that boosted it a lot was probably... Um, what car it boosted? Like, one, like I, have, I have a few cars. Uh, I have like... Like nineteen some cars, but um, damn, what car boosted? That shit? What car boosted it? I mean, any car, as long as you do it right, I think boosts it. But um, I think my neighbor's credit card probably was is the the one that bring that bitch the most. Uh, it's just a five hundred dollar limit car. Um, but it's just like it was like my first unsecured car from a credit union and i think i don't know why that made it but that's what it is like hard car leases do help a lot but it's stupid to be in a car lease with me most of the negatives are almost seven years old and i still have three credit card ain't shit right now but my people finna fix that next month congratulations my baby work on it capital one good for starters yeah what school do you need to get a leased car i don't think really anything because my credit was hard when they leased me a car 
what about a grain account? A grain is a credit product. It looks like a credit card on your credit bureau. Um, I actually have grain. Um, what I did was um, I got a thousand dollar credit limit with grain, so um, I charged a hundred dollars on it and let them take ten dollars of my automatic payment. And so it looks like a credit card on your um, credit bureau. Grain. What about apartment debts? What about? Them? What about credit one? I have a credit one account. I like my credit one account actually. As long as you pay them, you have no interest with them. Um, they don't really too much trip about traveling. Um, they very flexible. Uh, if you don't pay them, that's the that's when they become bitches. They're a bitch to get off. But I like my credit one account. I have a credit one. They give you every six months, like like literally, like late, like I started out with three hundred dollar limit. Then I went up to a thousand dollar limit. Um, and just now, just this now, they just upped it to fifteen hundred dollars. So they give me a limit, like. Six months and a year with being with them. I want to fulfill that in less than six months with the secure card. Yep. Okay, I need to get one signed here, please. How to get collections deleted? Dispute them. Does Dr. Bills hurt your credit? Yep. Maybe Fed is a true too. Yes, they are. Fingers hit. That was double the cost. Yep. I started with Capital One. That's why you buy something low. Um, I have a credit one and premiere. Yep. Pay them on time and they do repair. I have beautiful teeth. Thank you. I have. Uh, I have my American Express. I have a. Uh, I have my American Express credit product that's for Navy, and I have a Navy cashback rewards card too. Did you fix your credit? I'm. Yeah. I'm technically. I'm still fixing it. To be honest with you. I still got one thing left on one bureau, and I'm actually. I've actually sued them. Navy fair good for bad credit? Nope. I have Capital One and Premier. Capital One and Premier good. Pay them on time. Don't not miss it. What's grain? Grain is um. So what grain is does it ties to your bank account? And it gives you a credit limit. So my grain limit is $1,000, but it ties to my checking account. And so what happens is I could call up grain and say, listen, put the $1,000 in my bank. And in 24 hours, that $1,000, it's like a payday loan, but it's a, so it looks like a credit card on your, on your credit report. But it's something like a payday loan because they actually give you cash. So I could say, listen, um, I'm short on this bill. Put $500 in my account. Go to the grain app and $500 be deposited in my account up to my credit limit. In the morning, but it's, it's unlike a payday loan, the interest rate is like insanely low. Um, what credit good for bad credit? Most secure cards. Discovered has a nice one. I, I have. I started out with a city. I love my city. Uh, secure card. Uh, I have credit one. I was sick away for first premier because they charge you an insane annual fee. The motherfucker annual fee for uh, credit one was like twenty nine dollars, and I couldn't afford it. Did you send letters online? I never send nothing online. Never, never, and never do it. Yeah, so Grain is a credit product. It's an app. You download the app, you sign up. If you approve, they're going to check your, um, it's a soft pull, too. They don't even hit you with a hard inquiry. They do a soft pull credit report on you, and which is cool. If, you, if you're if you getting like a soft pull or pre-approved qualification, sign up for all of them because it doesn't matter. It's like they, they don't, it doesn't hurt you, whatever, whatever. In the case of inquiries, you kind of stay with Don't go apply for all kinds of shit. Apply for your credit products. It's a method to that. We're gonna get into that into the credit course. That way, you could get a lot of credit for like I literally have like four inquiries, for real, because I'm only applying for stuff I know I'm gonna get. I know what bureau they're gonna hit, I, so I can. So listen, you might apply for something like um. Let's just say for instance, you apply for um the Apple Card on hit one inquiry uh on TransUnion. I'm trying to see what hit all three inquiries. I don't ever apply for anything here on all three inquiries. But let's give an example of something. Um, maybe Capital One. Let's do Capital One. I, uh, so I don't have any Capital One credit products. Uh, but let's say, for instance, they hit all three inquiries. So in the case of Capital One, you apply for a Capital One card, you're going to get three inquiries. Three for one credit product. Right? But watch this. By my method, I apply for this card, on, and it's going to hit one bureau. That card is going to hit one bureau, and that one is going to hit bureau. I know my credit information, so I'm pretty certain I'm going to get approved for it. I meet the criteria and credentials. And so I'm going to get three credit bureau, three credit products for the same three inquiries that you got that one credit product for. You feel what I'm saying? So it makes more sense to do the method that talks about which one grand problem. It's a soft inquiry. Um, I don't remember which it is. Now, if it's a soft inquiry, it doesn't matter. Soft inquiries don't matter at all. You could apply for them all day because they don't hit here. It's called grain. And so what they do is, so with, with grain, grain is a credit product that allows you to 
Okay, so I got my titanium apple card. Okay, so this ain't the credit class, but this is what we're going to be talking about in the credit class, okay? So, grain allows you to, they give you a, a credit limit. Mine is a thousand dollars. Let me, let me just scoop it down. Okay, let's just, because so I, I think, that's, oh, I dropped the phone, hold on. Yes, the course is going to go in depth, like way more than what I'm talking about here. Like this light issue. This light issue. This light issue. This light issue. Okay, so now I got to turn. But like, I'm really on two apps right now. So I'm on IG and I'm on uh, Beagle. What's the reason to stop a hard inquiry? A hard inquiry is an inquiry that everybody can see. A soft inquiry is an inquiry only you can see. This is going to be on live later. So, where's my grain app? Where's the app? Let's show you how much I use. I don't use Okay, okay. All right, so how can I do this and turn both of these around? Okay. Yes, I still use my set media page, certainly. Oh, no, never do that. I love how we help each other. So, let me see. How can I? I'm going to show y'all. All right, let me flip. I'm going to flip the screen just a little bit on this app first because this app is the one that's the hardest to do. Okay. So, that's the green app. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm trying to hold two phones at one time and make sure the same thing. Okay. Let's see how I do it. Alright, y'all can see it. Hopefully, I'll put oh, shit. Alright. Hold on. So, this is the grain app right here. That's grain. Alright. So, that's the grain. And as you can see, my balance is forty two dollars seventy seven cents, so that probably means like so far they've charged me two dollars and seventy seven cents for one hundred dollars, which ain't that bad. Um, available credit nine five seven twenty three. Available credit nine five seven twenty three. Um, and so what happened is, so let me say something. So what Grain does is okay. This is not working. I gotta do it like this. Yeah. All right. So what Grain does is okay. So see, it's like see, I told you this. All right, so they give you a thousand dollars, connects to your checking account, right? And so anytime I want, I could pull down up to a thousand dollars. It works like a revolving credit card. So there's checking uh, ties to your your checking account. Okay. So what happens is, so what I did was I pulled out ten dollars, a hundred dollars, which is was ten percent of my limit. Cause I wanted to report like a credit card, and so and just I just had it automatically set up to take the ten dollars a month, and so they give me the hundred dollars, and so one two three four five, that's the interest charge two seventy seven. Remember saying six, so for two seventy seven I got a primary trade line that shows one two three four five six months of automatic payment, and this is good for my credit. It helped boost it too. Um, it reports to all three bureaus. The interest rate seems to be those two point seven seven percent is is, is look, um, and so uh, that's it. Now, if I wanted to say, for instance, I wanted some money, I would just say withdraw credit, and I could withdraw up to I could withdraw nine hundred fifty seven dollars thirty three cents, and they're going to deposit that into my account tomorrow by two p.m. for for a uh, plus a one percent fee. So let's say I want to do five hundred dollars. I'm not gonna do it. Well, if I, if I have a draw, it's gonna draw. Yeah, it probably is. All right. So it would plus one percent, which is like one percent of five hundred, like five dollars. So for for and, and the interest rate is only two point seven. It's better than a Payday Okay, and it do a soft income. So I can make a payment if I want to make an additional payment. Um, and that's the app, and it reports to it reports to all the credit bureaus. So that's what Grant is. Oh, but you gonna learn something over here, bitch. Y'all talking about some crayon stuff, girl. <laughs> bitch, this way more better than some fucking crayons, and that was free. But that's the kind of stuff we're gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about different credit products in the course, and I'm gonna talk about all kinds of stuff like that. I'm gonna show you. I want y'all next year. I'm holding my titanium Apple card. Yes. Let me see something. Where's my Apple wallet? So I can see. Seventy percent. 
Where's the number? My first payment will be due by January 31st. Oh, I can activate my car. Oh, now that's cute. Activate your car. I have to activate my car. Okay, hold on, hold on. Activate it. Hold, hold this iPhone. I need a package that came with the car. Oh, I could have activated the car. Now, good thing I saw this. Hold on. <laughs> So, <laughs> I gotta activate the card. So, I gotta hold a card. Hope y'all both can see this. And there it is. Wow. And that was easy. Okay, now my card is activated. Awesome sauce. Easy support. It's awesome. I love it. All right. So, so for my IG people, I love y'all. This is going to be on YT. Don't forget, we're going to be doing this real soon. It'll be on, on YouTube in a little while. Love y'all. Chime Live. I would never deal with nothing like Chime or nothing like that. Ever. If it doesn't report to your credit bureaus, it's, it's pointless to have. It's pointless to have. Is one kid a starting limit with green? I don't know. They just approved me for one green. I don't. I didn't need it. I just wanted a straight line for the cheap. And so they reports all three, bro. It's, I'm paying their ass off too, and just doing it for day. Do you have a good or bad credit to get green? Um, it's a. It's so apply for it because it's a soft inquiry, so it will not hurt your credit to apply for it. You might as well apply for it, even if you have bad credit. Apply for it. If you don't get approval, you don't get approved. But I think it goes more about your bank account. So they're going to check your bank account. The self card is good, but keep her utilization under 30%. Keep all utilization under 30%. Should we do school needs to be good to get a lease on a car? It depends on who's financing it, baby. I can't really tell you that. It depends. Like, it might be 500 for this this company. It might be 700 for this company. It might be 900 for that company. It's not like a, like every company have their own criteria. So I have no clue which your credit score has to be released. What lease do you have to have? Yeah, I will post a link to Grain. I'll make it in my bio. Because I think I get some money if y'all sign up for it. Hold on, let me see something. Because I think, let me, if they have a referral service, I'm definitely going to post it, girl. Let's see. Um, no, they don't got no fucking referral program. Fuck them. <laughs> but they got a the referral, bitch. <laughs> girl, if they, got, girl, if they had a referral, bitch, I'll start, I'll do a video about them, bitch. I'll do a video, but it's, it's, it's trygrain.com. I am for the post the link, girl. You could just, it's, it's the, it's the grain app, girl, if you just want to get it, grain, G-R-A-I-N. Um, it's just the, it's just better than the payday. Don't, don't do payday loans. They don't help your credit, they cost too much. You hear me? This is, this is much cheaper, girl. This is much cheaper. Get that. Um... Girl, cause girl, they was about to get some. They was about to get a nasty old promo video. <laughs> girl, they was about to get a nasty old promo video, bitch. They was about to have their own video, girl. More details coming after vacation about shaky classes and services. Yes. The the Apple Wallet, the Apple Card is not just for Apple losers. They just open it up to everybody else. So, I love y'all on IG. I will post this video. Girl, y'all. All right. I gotta go see my daughter.